What's up guys, Third World Dave here. A very exciting video today. Today we're going to talk all about Google AdSense and not just Google AdSense but how to integrate into a Joomla website. Now why Joomla? You know, I mean how many people actually use Joomla, right? Well, I do. And after Googling a bit this morning I noticed that there was hardly any information on you know how to integrate the two, how you should, what the recommended method is. And any real hands-on tutorial showing someone how to do it. So um, let's get started, guys. It's going to be a hands-on tutorial. I'm not going to take many takes of this video, which means that it's going to be raw and uncut. Forgive me for any screw-ups. <clears throat> I've also got man flu, as you might hear. So if my voice sounds like a uh, white Morgan Freeman, uh, maybe it's not a bad thing. Okay, so Google AdSense, guys. Google AdSense is a great way for bloggers to make money. Now, I've got the screen where um, you can see it on purpose. Now, this is my own website. This is my, my business I run from the third world. And I'm focusing on this part of the screen on purpose because what you can see here is a ad in the header and a ad on the left-hand side as well. And that's kind of the point of today, right? Now, this is obviously a Joomla website I'm using. Um, and I want to show you guys, well, you've got your AdSense account, you've got your Joomla website, and how do you mix it to? So this is what you are aiming for. You're aiming for a bit of ads here, a bit of ads here. I won't go massively into detail about Google AdSense. Obviously, guys, you make space available on your website. Google then decides via contextual or targeted advertising what ad best suits the website visitor who's on your page at that moment. So I'm seeing an advert for Shell and Travel Start. I've been Googling some holidays, which is obviously why it's been, um, you know, why it's been targeted. And if I drill into one of my blog posts, you're going to see, see the same thing. You're going to see a header ad. You're going to see a left-hand side ad here. Um, I've also got one at the bottom. So after content, I've got, I've got um, another ad. So that's three ads. Now, just a heads up, guys. Um, I know the addiction in the beginning is going to be, well, let's squeeze as many ads as we can as possible onto a website. Google does have a limit. Last time I checked, it was roughly three ads per page. So just know that you can't squeeze as many ads as possible onto a page. Uh, Google will penalize you for that. Also, guys, um, there are better places to put ads than other places. So for example, you're going to notice that I focus on the top. You're going to notice I focus on the left-hand side as well. Upper left-hand side is quite a good spot to start with. Um, so just experiment. Um, there's something called a, a advertising heat map which shows you where people's eyes you know, tend to focus when they're looking um, the first time they see a website. Okay, but now you're saying, <clears throat> well, great, Dave, you've got adverts. I want to put adverts up. Um, <clears throat> start at the beginning, so let's do that. Now, I think the first thing to start off with, guys, as well, <clears throat> excuse me, mm, this man flu is horrible. Okay, where are you able to, and allow to put ads on your website. So for Joomla users, um, you must know that I'm talking about the module positions. So for example, on one of my blog posts, you know, that we're in at the moment, how do I know where I'm allowed to put my ads? Um, you know, so for example, I said this ad was, I think the technical name is after toolbar or before content, and this one is called sidebar. How do I know these things? I don't know where to put it. So I'm gonna copy out my ebook.coza the address, I'm going to just duplicate it here, and I'm going to add in some text that I want you guys to notice if you don't know about this. Question mark, template preview equals one. So TP, so it's question mark, TP equals one. Now watch what happens. It automatically spits out all the available module positions. Now guys, you might not see what I have. In fact, I'm pretty sure you won't. Um, obviously, my setup is very unique. Um, I'm using Firefox, not Chrome. I am using Windows, not Mac. Um, I'm using Joomla 365, um, 3.6.5. And um, yeah, I'm a Taurus. So I'm apologizing up front for any combination of those things which might make it look different. So bottom line, guys, these are all the module positions I am allowed to put my ads in. It's very cool to know. Um, it shows you the power of your templates and it shows you yeah, I can put an ad in any one of these available positions. Now, for people who might not be seeing these positions after doing the question mark TP equals one, after any URL from your, web, your website, go to your templates. So you go extensions, you go templates, 
and I believe it's the options button. If you click on options, um, you need to enable preview module positions enabled. So you need to enable this to be able to do that. Okay, so you've got your template positions. You know roughly where you want to put these. Now, bottom line is, guys, you're going to experiment. So don't stress right now where you're going to put them. Put them somewhere, experiment, and get started. The second assumption, guys, and as I mentioned, I'm not going into great detail, is that you've got a Google AdSense account already. So Google obviously makes it damn simple to sign up. I've got mine going. So let's log in quickly. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to sign in. Now, guys, I've got a really bad internet connection here in the third world, so forgive me where things might lag a bit. Um, yeah, that's one of the benefits of living here in Africa. And bingo, I'm inside my dashboard. Now, you see numbers. Don't stress too much. These numbers just mean that my adverts are working, which is all I really care about. Um, the tab that I want you guys to focus on is called My Ads. Okay, you can see it in the left-hand side option. So I'm going to go My Ads. Now, notice that it's just a summary of all the adverts I've shown you on my website. Remember, guys, I showed you the header. I showed you the footer at the bottom of my content. I showed you, okay, I've called this right-hand side. It's a bit of an old legacy name. It's actually left-hand side now. Um, it shows you what shapes the ads are. So responsive means this will shape itself to whatever device. This, I believe, that's not a skyscraper. Um yeah, I actually forgot what that's called. You can see what data I created these. The one I haven't mentioned is the within content because certain blog posts that are very popular, I like to put ads within the content, but only certain articles. So what I do is I, I, I've got this within content module and then within Joomla, I use the modules anywhere module to be able to slot a Google AdWords ad into content within an article. Um, so you won't see this one too often, but my busiest blog posts, I've slipped an extra ad to make a bit of extra cash. Okay, I want you seeing this page, and then I want you to be under your module manager. So extensions, modules, and I've searched for Google because all my Google assets modules are called or contain the word Google, excuse me. Okay, now I've left all mine published just because I wanted to show you what they look like. You know, here's one, there's one, we've been through that. Now, for the purpose of the tutorial, I want to dis disable these. I'm going to just unpublish. Can I do that all together? Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to unpublish all of them so that we can start afresh. Okay, so we're going to start afresh. Which means if I come back and I refresh, my advert should be MIA, missing an action. Cool, so the adverts are going to be gone. Um, and the point of today was to show you, great, now you don't have your ads, where do you start? So you've decided which rough module positions you're going to put them in. Um, one little secret with the module positions, guys, is that often, although the name is here, in other words, there's a position available for you to put a module, often you're not going to see that position pre-populated in your module drop-down. Okay, so if we come here, I'm going to show you what I mean now. You're going to notice that <clears throat> I've got a mixture of two module types that I'm using. Um, Legacy-wise, I was using the Foca Joomla module. Okay, so in other words, if you come here, foca.cz slash foca dash Google AdSense, I was using this module in the last couple of weeks. I've noticed some issues where it wasn't working. So I was tweaking my Google AdWords, um, sorry, AdSense, and it wasn't working. And at what it boiled down to is it actually seemed to be this module giving me issues. So what I've done is I've shifted across to a different way of showing my um, a different way of showing my modules. I've chosen to use um, the Gantry Five Particle with a custom HTML. Sounds very fancy. Basically, it just means the template that I have for this Joomla website allows me to do custom HTML in a certain way. That's what I've done. Don't worry. Um, oh, by the way, guys, the template that I'm using, uh, if it, if you happen to like it, is going to be uh, the Re Requiem theme from Rocket Themes. And just so you know. Um, those of you who use Joomla, a bit of a sidetrack here, sorry guys, but you're going to see a large part of my website, and obviously bloggers tend to be the people who want to use AdSense. If you use Joomla, the best blogging component I've seen is called EasyBlog. So that's what we're going to be working with and around today. This whole interface you've seen with all my blog posts, 
that's easy block. So if I come here and I go components, easy block. That's what everything I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrating is going to be wrapped around. Okay, so back inside, as I've mentioned, I'm using Joomla 365. Okay, cool. So you've got your Google AdSense, um, your dashboard, your ad units up in front. In other words, you just click on add new unit to make a new unit. I won't go, that's a different tutorial to show you how to make it. Let's just assume you've got them in front of you. Um, first step is a little bit of actual, okay, so the first step should actually be a little bit of work before we do this. So you're going to notice that, hmm, okay, let's rather do this afterwards. Let's rather do this afterwards. Okay, guys, ignore what I was saying. So new module. Okay, new module, your, your selection here will look different. Obviously, you're going to have different things installed. Um, the easiest one that everyone is guaranteed to have is going to be custom. Um, there are other ways to do this. For example, that, that FOCA module that I mentioned, um, the principle is kind of all the same. So, sorry, let's come back here and go custom. So custom, you guys should be well acquainted with custom HTML modules. Um, it just means that you can put whatever code you want to and put it wherever you want. So we'll call this our test Google ad, oops, sorry, ad sense ad. Okay, do we want to see the title? Nah, not really. Okay, position. Now, position is quite key, guys, and that's obviously why we have this thing over here. Um, I know the position I want to test with today is going to be this um, easy blog. Now, as I mentioned, I'm using easy blog, which means this module position is unique to those people who use easy blog. You won't see this if you don't have easy blog. Simple, right? So you can put it wherever you want for the, for the purpose of the tut. I'm going to put it under easy blog and I'll do after toolbar. Now, as I mentioned, guys, you might see a name here. You might see a name here. So there's quite a few wrapped around, um, especially at the bottom too. Okay, so you might see a position here that you don't see drop down. So if I start typing in easy blog, I only see three positions, but I know there's a lot more by looking at these positions. You can manually enter that. So don't stress if it doesn't auto-complete. If you see the module here, you are more than welcome to go right-click, copy, and then paste that in here. So don't stress if it doesn't auto-complete. This one, I'm just lucky it does. Okay. Next step is I'm going to come to the Google AdSense. I'm going to then pick the ad that I've pre-configured. In other words, I know what size you are. Um, and I'm going to click on Get Code. Okay. I'm going to leave it asynchronous for now. You can research that in your own time. And all I'm doing is right-clicking and copying all this code. I come back. Now, guys, for those advanced Joomla users um, out there who's watching this, <clears throat> you're going to know exactly what is, what's about to happen. For those of you who are a bit newer to this, I'm going to simplify things for you. Um, now, I'm using the JCE text editor. Most people use this WYSIWYG editor. Basically, it just, it's a certain theme, um, if you want, or a component that, that gives your WYSIWYG editor a certain look and feel and functionality. Now, most people see this view. Now, guys, if you make the mistake of posting the code under the editor view, which is what exactly you're seeing, and most people would be using this, watch what's going to happen. Okay, so I've picked the location, I've got you published, um, and I'm going to save. So notice that I've put it straight under the editor. I've just copied and pasted it, but I've made a mistake on purpose to show you what's going to happen. So if I come back and I refresh, <clears throat> you are going to see, watch your space over here, bang. I don't want to see this code. This code is meant to be invisible to me. It's meant to be processed by the browser, by the server. I don't want to see that. I just want to see an advert. What you've done wrong is you've pasted it you need to paste it with a code view. Now, different versions of your text editor are going to handle this differently. For my JCE text editor, I'm just going to delete all this text. Flip to the code tab. As I mentioned, there are a couple ways to do it. I think there's a, a shortcut um, under these things somewhere. But let's go code. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to save it. Now, notice how this looks, guys. Notice I've got specific identifiers inside here. Okay, we're good. I'm going to save. Now, 
what's really going to confuse you is when you save and wait a minute that looks different why does that look different and this is really going to confuse a lot of guys basically Joomla text editors are notorious for messing up the code that you paste inside so you give it some code it thinks it's helping you by neatening things up it doesn't it messes it up okay so let's come back just be aware that a lot of text editors in Joomla are guilty of this there are simple ways uh, for example okay let's let's start back at the control panel there are simple ways to try your best to stop a text editor from mangling your code um, I'm gonna go to components the text editor I'm using is called JCE you'll have to figure out for each text editor obviously how to do this I'm gonna go to editor profiles I know this is off by heart I've done it so many times I'm gonna edit my default profile <clears throat> I'm going to then go to the uh, parameters I think and I'm gonna flip across to advanced and I'm going to make sure that I've allowed JavaScript, allowed CSS, allowed PHP, and allowed XHTML. Okay, or I think by default a few of these are disabled. I'm going to make sure that's done. Okay. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to paste this. And I'm going to save it. So I've created the custom HTML, the custom HTML module. I've saved it. I've published it. Um, as you can see my internet is working so hard to try to keep up um, now let's come back and let's refresh our code okay so I'm on my blog post let's just refresh and see what happens <gasps> my goodness it works okay guys that was basically the tutorial in a nutshell so I've shown you how to come to your dashboard copy the code using this little get code feature we've come and we have created a custom HTML module um, within within Joomla there are many ways to do this as you can see I'm using a different way but the principle stays the same so you go new custom um, HTML you paste the code inside and you be aware of firstly pasting it you know in the, the WYSIWYG view which is not going to work and also be aware of also be aware of the editor stripping out bits of code which you might not notice and you have to disable and just watch for. I've picked the right module where I wanted it so in other words I, I had a look at this view with that TP equals 1 and I've picked the right position um, and it is there which means I should also see it if I refresh my home page I should also see it there and it's that simple guys it's it's honestly that simple so there's a lot of information I could give you I've I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. You're welcome to ask me any questions um, and comments, or um, you can contact me directly through uh, through YouTube. And let me know if there's anything specifically you'd like to know. I know Joomla is quite a beast, and I know there are lots of things out there that aren't covered by tutorials, um, especially with the newer versions of Joomla and things like that. So that is it, guys. I've got my new ad showing, um, and I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial it's been 20 minutes thanks for staying with me if you made it all the way through and please let me know what you thought